Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Moklever, and thank you for rejoining us, me, and of course D-Shaky here, in Road to 56, Hearts of Iron 4. I almost said Old World Blues, but it's not <laughs> Old World Blues, in which we are having a good time. Well, at least I'm having a good time. I'm, I'm having a great time with the Raj. D-Shaky's having just a, a minor struggle with some of the Americanos, but that's okay. The proud people from the People's Liberation Army are here to help uh, D-Shaky in his time of... Uh, not super bueno -ness. Yeah. Alright, guys, get on the line, man. I said we'd help him out. <laughs> get on the line! <laughs> well, let's see. I also have another army in Europe, uh, led by Chen Yi, who's helping out, trying to take out ex enemy soldiers there, so. And in Lithuania, they're, they ain't gonna do so well. Yeah, and it looks like Intel Advantage is giving them a huge advantage on me, too. I just noticed Ooh. that looking at this stuff. So maybe that could be part of the problem that mm. I'm doing so badly, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Hmm. Let's see, you guys. If you guys are guarding the coast, that'd be nice. Uh, I am I am currently struggling in Southeast Asia. A big deficit of pretty much everything. Um, well, not a huge deficit, but it's, it's a moderately sized deficit, which is okay. Since we're actually doing pretty darn well. In some places. <laughs> some yeah. places. I'm still not used to all these notifications again. Oh, these, oh, yeah. these notifications are insane. Oh, so many invasions. <laughs> That's okay. We'll work through them. Yeah. Uh, at least I finally have a decent garrison in Poland and Germany. So it's not as bad. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's it. You guys... What am I going to do with this? You guys are kind of like the reserve... Coastal Reserve, because you guys are also another Coastal Reserve as well. You guys like this? There you go. Hold, realign yourselves. Oh wait, you guys are forty. Com oh my goodness, those are some thick boys I'm using. All right, so my goal is to finish the Raj first. If that's the case. You guys are all down here. I took Bangkok, which is really nice, actually. Do whatever we, you need to do. Slither on in. No, uh, there's there's no rubber in the world that I can buy anymore. Oh, oh boy. No. Yeah. Oh, actually, I was, I'm buying. I was buying rubber from try. Hungary. Oh. Yeah, that. Hmm. hmm. And I have to start building some refineries. Or you can take over some of the rubber over there in Asia, and then I can just buy it from you. Yeah, that was the plan. I, mean, I owned North Malay for a while. That has 60 rubber, but then the Americans didn't like that, and the Brits didn't like wow. that. So they're like, nope, not today. But I'm getting down there. Yeah. I'm working on it. I just need to make an actual Air Force. Because so I don't need planes. too much rubber. Like, I'm not making planes or anything really. Well, I'm making some planes, but mm -hmm. not too many anymore. I mainly just need it for motorized because I have like a 2,000 deficit. In uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, yeah. Wait. I finally got my deficit of guns fixed, but motorized is just bad right no, now. No, did I just lose it? Oh, goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. I just lost my only light cruiser because it was training. Oh, oh no. Well. Did it need naval XP? Still okay, kind of. I have no ships now. That's okay. I have. It's time to uh, produce yeah. some. It's time to produce a few. And now I need more steel. Oh no. Hmm. Build them in Hong Kong. You can buy some from East Germany. Has a lot if you're if you don't have any. Or I'm a trade with those guys in the Soviet Union. <laughs> oh yeah, even better. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, hungry. You can only supply me with two rubber. Come on, man. Actually, I can get four from you. Okay. Now uh, stealing my rubber. Oh, and now Hungary doesn't want to give any, huh? Oh, That's yeah. Good. Now you hold them in place, sons. So oh, they're invading me in southern China somewhere. Go right ahead, guys. Good luck with that. <laughs> I have it pretty well covered. You know what? With these extra guys. Ooh. Request Soviet assistance. Okay, there's in... some assistance for you. Nice. Thanks. I got two more dockyards and I can research a ship faster. Ah. Nice. Uh, 
Study Soviet ship design. Well, maybe. More research speed. Invest in new companies. Civilian military. Oh, that's not bad. Civilian 3 infrastructure. That's not bad. Soviet machineries. Factory outlook plus 15%. I love that. Okay, we finally broke over our river line that they took from us. So nice. Very pretty nice. Pretty good. Getting a few more encirclements. And I actually might get rubber relatively soon. I'm taking back the territory down south near Malaya. So oh yeah, that'll be great. Once I fix my motorized deficit, I can finally finish this thing with the Americans here. Uh, hey, look, actually, I, I was ignoring that side with the Americans that I was helping. Oh god, I have a famine. Uh, no famine in Chinese territory. No, no. Fake news. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> fake news. <laughs> Capitalist <laughs> propaganda. Exactly. Uh, mm, mm. Actually, I'm glad that we're all ally because Japan is just sending a couple soldiers just through us to get to your front. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Nice. Oh. The Brits have figured out that I'm actually invading India and they're fighting me back. No. Oh no. Yeah. I see them kind of scattered around. They're really guarding that northern attack right there. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I pushed in pretty far. So, I guess yeah. it makes sense. Oh, hello. Three American divisions here? Yeah, no. Or three allies. They're not all Americans. I don't think the French are Americans, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Possibly. Let's see. Liu Bo Chang. Oh, I need eight more steel. I will buy it from big old Papa Stalin. Yes, yes, yes. Keep going, guys. We might even get... Yes. Oh, yes, we've taken Riga back. We're, we're getting close nice. to reclaiming everything. Oh, boy, what was that? I hear naval invasion. Baltic oh, States, yeah. Eastern Germany. Oh, yeah, what else is new? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much it. Yeah, it's fine. I have tanks everywhere over here now, so there's I can just push them out the second they try to invade now. Or I might even get to the port before they get there. Yeah. Nice. Communist revolutionary, popular figurehead, ideological crusader. Um, rubber refiner construction speed. That might be beneficial. Or do we have military high command? Um, army XP gain is someone I do not need. I never choose this. Armor to attack and defense would honestly be best, but I have literally no armor, so just take a little bit less attrition for now, guys. Yeah. Oh, no. Hmm? Oh, no. The U U.S. is coming back into Poland. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, time to strat redeploy some tanks over there. Oh, I have one nearby. Here, I'm helping destroy a few soldiers here in the U.S. Or U.S. soldiers are going to be dead. I can oh, send no. uh, another 18 divisions that way. That's fine. Come on, take that rubber. I got the rubber. I don't have time to build 1940 ships. That sucks. Um, mm, that's all good. I really need to start focusing on it. Navy stuff. But really, I need to focus on planes. I literally have no knowledge of planes. Oh my goodness. Okay, green air in eastern Germany at least. That should help with nice. this. Nice. Actually, you're not even... You're over there. You're over, you know what? I'm just, just going to get you guys over there. It's funny right now, I have plenty of extra tanks, it's just motorized that I'm so low on because I've had no rubber for so long. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, you see if you could buy some from me, maybe. Oh yeah, now I can buy a little more. I have some rubber, though. I have enough that I can start producing stuff. Yeah, my stockpile's better now. Nice. I have 38 uh, spare rubber. Well, for now. Could always use more military factories. Oh my goodness, the amount of guns is going down. 
Oh, they're, they don't like it that I took back my rubber. Oh, yeah. They're really trying to kill these divisions. Oh, they're fight. Oh, that's nice. They're fighting me in the mountains. Bring it on, British guys and Malayan soldiers. There's like 30 divisions down there trying to take it. Now I gotta figure out where's the best place to attack and not die. Can you attack here and win? You should be able to. Well, should is a good word. Oops. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, we took the tile. Let's see, so this is... If we go back onto three speed for a second, I'm just trying to manage two encirclements cool. possibly. Cool, we can go back down to two, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. Just because I might have accidentally clicked a button on my keyboard accidentally and it, uh, I might have stopped my recording, so I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Whoopsie, I should pay attention a little bit more. Yeah, we're still trying to push it. Yeah, you guys stop pushing, stop pushing, stop pushing, stop pushing. You know, hold for now, stop attacking. Hang out, have a good time. No, I said stop attacking. You know, Brits are getting tired of the war, looks like. Oh, uh, what's the manpower oh, of Bhutan? Zero, oh. oh. Yes, US medium encircled. Nice. Good. Oh yeah, we still need to focus on the land option a little bit. Let's come this way. Hold him in place. Don't let him move. Do not let him move. Man, they just naval invade like crazy. Wow. Yeah. I need to get... I, I wish I could get a better garrison army. Maybe... Nah, I, I don't have enough guns to deploy any new divisions right now, but... Mm. I thought two divisions per port would be good, but no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, are they like 10 combat width, 20 combat width? They're actually 40s. Wow. Yeah. They just invade across the entire coastline. I better, I just need to get to the point where I can defend the entire coastline. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. At least in some places, they're just landing except at the port, and then that's just a lot mm -hmm. of free encirclements. Cool. Guns. Nice. Nice. Help destroy some places. Rostock. That's good. What are the casualties so far? I've taken 400,000. You've taken 2.39 million. The allies have lost a total of 5. Point four three. Wow. Not enough. Yeah. Uh, they decrypted our ciphers again. Oh but, boy. Uh, not too bad. They're just losing all their naval invasions right now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. not a bad time to get decrypted. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, they're gonna break that. I might lose that rubber there. Maybe. Maybe. Retreat that way to help hold the line there. Because they are attacking with so many divisions. Attack that way. Should be able to win. There's famine? No, fake news, fake news. No famine here. We have no shortages. What are you talking about? Exactly. Huh. Okay, taking Danzig back, and then I can reset up this port garrison. Oh man, it looks like they're just attacking your lines like crazy in the in Germany. Oh yeah, that's good. That's that's really good. Oh man, Thailand's so close to being capitulated. There's really not much I can do about it though. 
Oh yeah, they're gonna lose so much in Germany if they keep that up. Yeah, we'll extend it down here a little bit. Go ahead and do this. There you go. Couldn't win there. What about here? Mm. Anywhere else here, maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. Mm, how's Japan doing? Have they lost many islands? It doesn't look like it. I think they're holding out pretty darn well. Yeah, all my islands aren't even garrisoned, and they're fine, at least for now. Oh, we might actually have a breakthrough there, that's good. Oh, we're still holding that area, that's nice. Barely holding, but that's okay. Oh, we got cut off in Calcutta, that sucks. Well, oh well. I can't wait for this to be cleaned up in the Soviet Union, and then I can turn this around and invade California. Well, <laughs> Hawaii first, and then California yeah. soon. Once I steal Japan's navy, too. You guys are done doing stuff over here. Let's move you to what? Right here. That'd be good. No, don't attack there. No, 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 no. right here. Should easily be able to beat these guys up. Hey, nice. Motorized is finally good. Now I just need artillery. Nice. And I'll buy some tungsten from you. There you go. Cool. Yes, we have good markets. Very good markets here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, please stop killing yourself on the line. You have, I gave you no orders to move that way. Please go around. <laughs> yeah, Malaysia is literally killing all its manpower off. I mean, they still got 100,000 left, but at least 100,000 probably. Yeah. It's a bit ridiculous. How about you guys get down here and defend this area, guys? Come on. Actually, whose army are you under? Mao. Come on, Mao. We're going to lose the rubber if you don't get you guys down here. Don't go that way. Hold. These guys can do well. Just let them hold. Yeah, we might lose the rubber just a little bit because they have so many soldiers down here. It's at least 30. Yeah. I'm fine for a second now that I... Mm -hmm. Have motorized actually in stockpile, and I can start building refineries soon, soon if, soon if needs be. Nice, invest in your companies. Oh crap, they're gonna destroy these two divisions, probably. Wait, what? Why is the guy just standing there? Please defend. a little bit first. That's fine. Okay, seriously, I don't understand, like, the AAI pathfinding. I tell them not to attack a place. I'm like, I'm gonna go through here anyways. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you guys are getting pretty weak right here. It'd be a shame if someone tried to attack you. Nice, another US medium encircled. I don't even know how good their mediums are, so they might be just terrible divisions, mm -hmm. but...
And there goes a British division. Bye bye. Okay, and the new garrison seems to be working. I might actually bring my tanks over away from the coastline to help out with more encirclements. Hopefully that's not a terrible idea. <laughs> Should be good. <clears throat> see if I can help out right here. Take away one of their air bases. Yeah, no, I, I really doubt that the British could win a battle with almost no organization here, with being cut off from supplies. I'm sorry, game. I just don't believe that, man. Let's see, medium bombers. Yeah, we're going to need some torpedo bombers. That would be nice. Good. I really hope they re rework the gar gar garrison uh, templates or garrison like AI because they just attack, attack, attack. If there's even a single tile, that yeah, uh, and like yeah. It, it's a bad idea to even use the manual orders because it's better to just put divisions on the ports because then if somebody lands, they remove all of the divisions from the ports and yeah, yeah. walk all the way over. Oh no, Columbia joined the Allies. They were my other source of rubber. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. No. Oh, and I can't get any rubber from you anymore. Nope, okay. they get... Oh, hold on. Oh, Hungary's selling rubber again. Yes, okay. Oh, uh, Hungarian rubber, the highest quality rubber known <laughs> to man. Yeah. Well, okay, um, they just... They, they were fighting me with, like, 30 divisions. Well, they left five here. Now I should have some rubber. I have some rubber again. Okay, thanks, Hungary. Or, thanks, Hungary, but, uh, thanks, Malaysia. Keep it up. I'll start stealing some of your rubber again. That's then. fine with no, me. I can't get any from Brazil. Uh. And we've made an encirclement. Kill them off. Immediately. Oh, they did not like that. They did not like that whatsoever. They might have a level 1 fort that I built there. That's okay, though. Don't help the attack. Just defend yourselves. We can't afford to lose. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah. Famine, but the reports say the harvests are up 400%. What? What? No. Harvest up 400% and famine? Oh, or the, you know, propaganda <clears throat> telling people that. Yeah. It is state sponsored news. Fake <laughs> news you have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I'm taking all these losses with so many guns out. Like, if you have any spare guns, man, I doubt you have any spare guns, but Jesus. I can do some spare guns. Actually, I have spare guns now. I'm mostly down artillery. How much do you need? Oh, I'll take whatever you got, man. Okay, yeah, I'll send you some. Mm. That would be bad to do, but we can have there. Yeah, let's do that one first. How's my land doctrine? Ooh. Maybe I should focus on land doctrine. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, thanks. No, the naval invasions begin again. Does anyone try to naval invade me? No? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, these, um, I think this is Ireland trying to invade me. Not going so well for them. Oh, Ireland. Hey, we made an encirclement. You know, it's only two divisions. And some medium armor. Or some heavy armor. Medium armor, probably. Yeah, medium armor. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. About to circle some more up here, possibly. Oh. Yep. Oh, it's on five speed. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, daily communism, popular figurehood. I like that one, but you know what? Rubber refinery. I do have fuel refining. Nice. We got him done. Hmm. Ooh. Good, help spread out. Make sure you are almost big encirclement yeah. here. Okay, well, stop. Okay, everything. Oh 
Oh no, they brought their tank up to help. Come on, no, you hold, hold, don't leave, don't leave. You know what? Send happy guys this way. Send happy guys. Come this way too to help hold. Can't really afford to lose that rubber. No, no, no. Oh, looks like East Germany's building some refineries or something. That's nice. Be. That's pretty good. Nice. We got some more reinforcements in here. Oh, God. No, I guess oh, not. No. What the heck? Fuel gain or fuel from refineries. Oh, we can build rubber refineries. It would not be too bad. I need land auction. Don't forget land auction. Yeah, we're going to lose the rubber again just for a little bit. Because they'll leave again, hopefully. God dang it. Industry finally improved, good. And oh no, they're invading everywhere right as I'm getting this encirclement. Uh, they oh picked the perfect time for all their invasions. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just make sure you get the ports. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, that, that encirclement has no ports, so. I'll try to push in. Just trying to hold it, because I have like a missing tile right here. So. Ah. Oh, it looks like some guys are about in there, hopefully. Nice. Oh, they're actually attacking me. I'm trying to hold. Oh, you're getting invaded now. Oh, hello? Oh, hello. Hello, um. Well, I guess it's time to reveal the 19 uh, divisions that, uh, that'll surround and destroy these Australian guys. Hey man, we didn't want it like this. You chose this though. I doubt we could do anything here. We still haven't lost that province yet. How? Dong dong, you are learning a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, you're an amazing general there. Dong dong. God dang, dong dong. Okay, Leningrad might be freed soon. Ooh. Gonna make a small offensive. Very good. Indian circle a lot. Honestly, I was thinking there should be some sort of mechanic where your enemies, or people in general, like, will have less war support as you lose more soldiers. And if, depending on your government type, you should be able to, like, you know, suppress the press or the media so it doesn't seem so yeah. bad. I mean, because, uh... Yeah, that'd be, like, a cool mechanic in a mod. Like, a mod more focused around, like, the stability in your country, stuff like that. I think that should just be in the base game. I mean, <laughs> I mean well, yeah. that just makes sense. Oh, there are a lot of things that should just be in the base game. Because, I mean, if you play as, like, you know, Germany or Soviet Union, you have the state power to <clears throat> hush up a couple things, but... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Get rid of some stuff you For the U.S., and people are like, are we done with this war yet? Look how many people have died so far. You know, it's like, hmm. Yeah. Wow, I can't do anything without enough strength, so, hmm. My artillery numbers are scary, but they're slightly getting better. Oh no, that these US Oh, mine are terrible. So. Mine are absolutely terrible. Yeah. Do you have any naval bombers? Me, uh, no. I think my air force has mostly been destroyed for the most part. Well, I have some still. A core defense. I have some medium bombers. Like 50, but not, not really any. Okay, just because I definitely need some naval bombers. Or, you know, I could just use them and blow enemy ships up. Yeah. Help destroy the convoys. 
Cool. Now that should help us a little bit with guns at least. Save 7,000 guns that we'll need for later for other operations. Oh, just never enough factories. Never enough. Which means I won't be able to do this down here. Okay, so they keep beating me up. Trying to take their little rubber resource away. And then they immediately leave. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like the great battle for the rubber over there. But they, then they just leave. It's like, you fought me that hard, you pushed me out, and then you walk back to Singapore, and you say hello. Yeah, but, okay. It doesn't make any sense, man. But that's okay. But this video's gone on long enough, guys. Uh, we're going to end it here. Um, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new to either one of our channels, and I guess we will see you all tomorrow as we might continue struggling against the allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.